thank you very much for this opportunity and for the internship opportunity as well. I am Allison Hall. I am the founder of Branchly. We make it easy for families to find what they need and do that basically by making it easy for clinicians to show what their unique skills are and aggregating organizations and associations. So it's it's been a great journey. I'm a pediatric physical therapist by background and saw how hard this was for families and to make it easier for everyone involved. Yeah. And honestly, I used to be um, in exercise science. So I oh. totally, get, yeah, that was like my starting major. Yes. <laughs> um, so I totally get the work that you're doing and I appreciate you for the work that you're doing. You. Um, and so I guess what I want to know is, is just like, what has been your experience for this internship program, right? You had 10 weeks. Um, mm -hmm. How many interns did you have? Three. Three interns, 10 yes. weeks, three interns. So I know that you probably got like a, a couple of things done for your company that you've been wanting to get done. So just tell me about like what your experience has been and what those wins have been. Yes. I mean, it's just, it was a fantastic opportunity. I've worked with interns in the past, but it's been more like we touch base once a month and they do a project. It, it, I've, so I've never had this intense of an intern and it was brilliant. I have to say that we did a lot of planning beforehand in order to make this successful. I mean, even from the interview process, one of the things I was asking them was, hey, create five bullet points that you're going to put on your resume after this. So that I knew the people who I was choosing, you know, were passionate about, you know, learning something and contributing something. And so it's just been fantastic. You know, I just basically had all of us going in the same direction in different lanes and it, it was fantastic. Yeah. And honestly, so <laughs> I will say you're probably one of the most concise <laughs> founders I saw too. So tell me about that process, right? Like this is your first time really like having like a team behind you and having to delegate projects and tasks. What was that experience like for you? Sure. I mean, I, I, I was intimidated by that, to be honest, because I mean, I've been a solo founder. I've had some, you know, independent contractors work for me and I had great mentors. So I've felt supported along the way, but, but day in, day out, it has been me. And so it felt amazing to have somebody working on the day while and getting something done at the end of the day for Branchly. And, you know, it, it was just a, a fantastic thing. And so what we did beforehand is just establish goals, very specific goals that I wanted for them to do kind of globally and then for the week. And yeah. I created an air table that made it very specific as to what each intern was doing and what when it when they were supposed to be doing it by and what the goals of are and then the helpful thing about that was that we also anything they created we dropped it there in the air table because right. I, was, I was like you know at the end I didn't want it to I'll be passed around by emails and um, I had one of my mentors who manages a, a large team tell me you need to have some sort of beginning and end to your day and yeah. I was grateful for her to give me that prompt. And so I, we had a morning stand up every day and, you know, so it was, you know, anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour, to be honest, <laughs> depending on, you know, where, what everybody uh, had questions they had and projects. And then we had, then I let them do a standalone intern collaboration is what I called it at the end of the right. day. And so sometimes they were working on projects together. And so that gave them the opportunity to um, talk with each other more and discuss questions and everything and know they had that space. And um, the other piece of it too was just creating a Slack group just for us. That So I think all these kind of foundational things that I spent a long time doing before it even started made us have you know a team, a feeling mm -hmm. of a team even though we were in all different parts of the country. Yeah, and I will say, right, right, like that team, it's very hard to have a virtual team, right? Like everyone is in different spaces. And so you have to be able to, number one, keep your priorities, right, at the forefront. 
but then also knowing that you have to lead a group of very young, very passionate <laughs> students and also teach them and mentor them. Um, I know that can be a little difficult. So how did you navigate that space of not only teaching them, right? I know you used Airtable, um, but even just the mentorship piece, right? Being able to like pour into them, what? how did you navigate that? Sure. I mean, I think we did it a couple of different ways. I I, I was very accessible to them. I, and in the way that I, you know, I would say slack me if you want to touch base with me today. If I can, I can, if I can, I can't, but I, they knew they would see me every morning. And, and if they had questions, they would, could schedule time for, for me, you know, and we had those periodic check-ins and I would always ask them, you know, how are you doing? What else do you want to learn? Are there other opportunities you want? You know, so for example, one time they said, hey, I'd like to speak. I'd like to, you know, meet with your mentors. And, and so we we do things like that to make those things happen and uh, kind of checking in a lot. The other thing I did too was I had them do what I call the teach and learn. So on mm -hmm. Monday, I assigned them, you know, so for example, SEO. I said, mm -hmm. I, I would really like to work on the SEO for Branchly. And so I said, I want you to attend this class. There's this online learning I found for you. There's this and that. I want you to dig in yourself, you know, any other thing you want to know. And then on Friday, I want you to teach all of us mm -hmm. what you have learned about SEO. So this gave us this opportunity to teach and learn and them to, you know, present. So I really like it. Oh, that is awesome awesome flow right there um wow actually I love you Allison I just want to say that I love so Allison. <laughs> so because like that is so intentional right like especially for you not having like a full team before right they were all 40 hours right? yeah. so like, having to make sure that they're actually working on the things that you're asking them to work on but then adding that component of mentorship I believe really 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 helped them grow I've actually talked to a couple of your interns and I know that they loved their experience with you <laughs> so I guess it's gonna segue into like what were some of the big wins that came out of this right like you poured so much into them so what was something that you saw was just like a product of just that pouring into them Sure. I mean, I think the fun thing about it was I, I had to catch them up mm -hmm. about healthcare, about why I'm building Branchly, about what we're doing, about the problems that are out there that we are trying to solve first. And then from that, I said, listen, this is my solution. This is my direction. I really want us to make it easier for people to show their micro credentials. And mm -hmm. this is the lane we're all, we're all going in that direction. And you know, Ella, you're going to create content around this. Arian, I want you to do market research about this. Mackenzie, I want you to build the technical product for this. And we were all just like going in the same direction. And so, you know, that was the big win is that in the end, we got all of that. We got content. We got, I have an understanding of the market uh, you know, potential competitors out there, uh, other products that we we could maybe like, oh, this makes sense or not make sense. And then Mackenzie built what I have wanted for years to have. And, and so it's just, I haven't had the resources or the time or the team to do this. And Mackenzie was able to take my vision and, and make it happen. And he had to do a ton on his own to understand this because I couldn't mentor him in these ways. Um, I, you know, I, I don't have the technical expertise he has. And so I was very impressed with that. And, and, you know, in the end, he told me, he said, thank you for trusting me and giving me the autonomy. So it's like, it was a two way thing. You know, I think he, he was also, he's a grad student. So he was at this point where he was ready for that autonomy. And I think it would have been quite stifling for him to not have it, have it. Yeah. And the fact that you were able to honestly trust him, right. Which is right. what he was like, really, really wanting. And you have that intuitive spirit about you, right. That as a leader, even though you haven't been in this space, particularly before you were able to lead them in a way that 
produce real results, right? Um, and so this is going to more segue into just your learnings as a leader, sure. right? Um, having your first team for real, like what was something, a, a couple of things, I would say what one to two things that you've learned um, from this experience as a CEO? Yes, I mean, I would say I learned I wanted a team. You know, it was it like I said, it just felt so good to have everybody working together on something. And so since that, since the end of the internship, I, I've been trying to figure out ways to hire Mackenzie and to make things like that happen. And also, who else do I really want on my team right now? And I'm actively pursuing those things. It, you know, it's, it, I've always known I wanted a team and needed a team and, and everything, but this just pushed me over to go get a team. Mm. <laughs> so, that, that was a huge learning for me. Yeah. And also, I know that we kind of talked about earlier, just even the aspects of like what it takes <laughs> to hire a team, right? Like sure. we, I know for us, we did a lot of just the back end things, right? So like, what are some of your learnings from even just the actual pieces that it takes to hire a team? <laughs> 100%. I, I mean, I think there were so many aspects of this internship because I knew I was going to have a lot of support, a, a lot of hours that I wanted them to learn and I wanted me to learn and I wanted the company to grow and every all, all these type of things. It, it was so helpful to have, uh, you know, Divink and Blackstone to support us with that that piece of it, the, you know, the onboarding, the tax forms, the, you know, contract signing, all that stuff. It made me realize how much is involved in, it's not just finding the right person and establishing what that job description is going to look like. It's also all this other stuff that's happened alongside with it. And, you know, so as I alluded to, I'm trying to continue work with, uh, you know, the, Mackenzie to continue to work on this technical project. And, and so that's been the, the continuing learning. <laughs> <laughs> as a founder, you never stop learning. <laughs> no, you do not. No, <laughs> even no. as, even as a um, physical therapist, you still have to do continuous credit hours and things. So yeah, it's really, really good to know that you are someone who is just willing to like, kind of get your hands dirty right? As a founder and as a CEO, and you kind of, you have that understanding of what it takes. Absolutely. I mean, I, I was a physical therapist for 23 years before I built this. And mm -hmm. so building a website is a very different skill set. I mean, and and I always said too, and in, in physical therapy school, we got zero information about business. Yep. And, and I think that's a, I think it's horrible. I think that healthcare really should introduce all this stuff to you because um, but, but saying that I've had to learn, it's been a massive learning curve for me, but that's because I'm so passionate about this solution. <laughs> and so, yeah, and I'm actually really proud of you. I think that what you're doing is super important. Um, I think that you taking this <laughs> and really just running with it, right. Um, even after the internship program and you doing many more learnings, right. Sure. Um, and so this leads me into advice. Right. Like what advice would you give a founder, CEO, COO um, when dealing with interns, but also just like looking to scale their team? Yes. I mean, I think from the intern aspect of it, it's super organized. I mean, do so much legwork beforehand. I really, the air table piece of it, I'm happy to share the template that I created with anybody. Yeah. The, the, that piece of it, I think the Slack groups, just that stand up, that, that structure to it was extremely helpful for us. And I think, um, you know, that accountability aspect of it probably would be helpful. I didn't end up having an issue with that because I think we were so structured aspect about that, but, um, that would be my thoughts on, uh, on the intern aspect of it, but, and then, you know, hiring aspect. <laughs> <laughs> get support because I'm still looking for it. I'm still looking for support on, on actually making my first formal hire. And, you know, as I said there, I've been hired independent contractors, but looking into 
what a part-time employee or a full-time employee might be, that's a, it's a different ball game. And, um, you know, I think once again, probably tapping into mentors and resources. Yeah, no, that's some really good advice, especially the understanding the difference between a part-time and full-time, right? Because that's different paperwork. <laughs> number yes. one. Um, yes. Even funding wise, very different, right? Like you go from like a pay scale of hourly to oh, a full salary. <laughs> yes, right? yes. Yeah, exactly. yeah. so that's really cool. Um, well, this is actually the end of our interview, but before we cut this, I want to know what is next? For Branchley, what's next for Allison? Yes, I mean, I'm really excited. Ever since the internship finished, I've been working my socks off on an international conference that is going to include thousands of therapists from across the nation. And so the internship couldn't have really come in a better time because now we're building this network that we're going to be able to aggregate into this technical product that Mackenzie has built. And so it's all kind of strategically happening at, at a great time. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm really excited for, for the next phase and just the timing of things is, is beautiful. I'm so proud of you. Literally, oh, I can thank you. Like, one of my favorite people, hands <laughs> down. <laughs> one of my favorite people, um, because you're just so strategic and you you think about the long game, right? And as a founder, that is so important um, because without thinking about the long game, you can't think about even hiring, right? Like once you hire people, then what 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 is your plan? What is your strategy, right? And I think that you have a timeline this so well to where even the interns are able to see their work actually making an impact for yeah. you and your company. Um, and I think that is just so special. And I think that is, it, it just speaks to your leadership in general. So I'm excited for you. However, you. we can support you. Please let us know if you have a shameless plug, you can plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, I mean, I'm so grateful for Div Inc. and Blackstone Launchpad for creating this opportunity for all of us. It was a win, 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 win. <laughs> like, I, I mean, everybody won. The interns were supported. They told me about things they would learn during their uh, learning with you, you guys. And then, you know, as I said, I had them do their bullet points. And so that was fantastic for them to do all that learning. For me, it was wonderful for me to have this first time to employ uh, employ interns without actually going through all the paperwork aspect of it because it was enough to mm -hmm. just manage people and and your product and your service and and then you know working with Div Inc is always just a pleasure and I'm I'm so grateful for the opportunities you you guys continue to bring to us I mean as, as I was cohort 6 I don't even know what cohort y'all are on but Div Inc just doesn't stop supporting you and I think that's a really unique aspect of what you know, everything Div Inc stands for, because I know not all accelerators are built like that. And it's a it's a unique feature of this continued support and willingness to to really help. Oh, thank you, Allison. You're so sweet. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, um, thank you for interviewing with me today. Yes. And hopefully we can continue to support you on yes. your journey. Um, and yeah, just continue to come back to us because I'll, I, I always will support you, seriously. Oh, thank you. <laughs>